Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Uber Celtic Ninja, and today we shall be playing Legend of Grimrock. Now, I've already gotten to play this game quite a bit, so I already know what I'm doing. But uh, for those of you who don't know, um, it is an indie game where you create four prisoners who then go about exploring this very large intricate dungeon through which you will find multiple multiple enemies so in order to do this you need um, you need all four of your characters to be evenly spread out between melee and ranged but of course the ranged would be the two people that stand in the back and the melee would be the two people that stand in the front. The combat is very very uh very mouse oriented. Now if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm currently selecting skills and and the abilities of all my guys so that I can effectively uh, choose my team. Now, if you haven't noticed already, there are four different races. The human, the minotaur, and those are their portraits there, the lizard men, and insectoids. Each of them has their own specific capabilities. As you can see at the bottom of the screen there. Lizard men are best for rogues. And because of this, I'm going to put a lizard man at the back with throwing weapons. Now, it doesn't really make much of a difference with the picture you choose, to be honest. Um, I always like to choose skilled for one of the traits, just because it gives more points. I'm going to put them all in throwing weapons because, really, the, all these have no, no other uh, no other use except for missile weapons, but. He's not going to use those. He's also going to have... Agile. There we go. And now we shall make an insectoid. One of these ugly looking fellows. We'll make it... we'll make it this guy. He will be our mage. And... Mages are quite important because they can cast very powerful spells. But the spells in this game are kind of different. You have nine different tiles, and by choosing different customized patterns of tiles, you can uh, create new spells and, and do really, really amazing things. But... Honestly, it, it's kind of hard just to make one up on the spot. You really do have to... Um, you really do have to find the scrolls, which would be lying around in the dungeon. And these scrolls will tell you which combinations you should use for the most effective spells. Now, it's kind of confusing if you don't know what's going on right now. I'm creating two fighters, both humans. This one is more of a weapons-based shield where shield, uh, shield-wielding dwarf-looking guy, right? This is our monk. Uh, he's gonna be all unarmed combat. He'll also be carrying a torch because the dungeons tend to get very dark if you are not wearing a, wearing a torch. If you are not carrying a torch. Um... And then, of course, we're going to have backup by the Lizard Man and the Insectoid. So now we can get down to naming. Now that we have all of our our guys all picked out here. Now, I'm going to name uh, him Uber Celtic Ninja, of course. Uh, Electric Cube. 339. You all know him. Um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta come up with a name with this guy right now. He will be 
Sir Fraps a lot. Because he, he likes Fraps. Sir Fraps a lot. Magnificent. And he will be... Hmm, what will he be? He will be Mama Smith. Welcome to the fight, Mama Smith. And now, we start the game. Uh, there's a little story at the beginning here. I'm not going to read it, but I'll, I'll allow you all to read it if you like. So... There it is. There's uh, some text for you. I've already read it, so... I, I don't really... don't really care much. That doesn't look much like our, uh, our four heroes that were chosen, but... You know, it doesn't matter. And there's basically the story is that uh, we are all prisoners that have been taken for treasonous acts. And we've been brought to the top of this mountain, where for some reason there's a hole in the top. And they just throw people in. And then those people fight for their life inside this dungeon called Grimrock. Trying to get to the bottom, where there is an exit. Right. That is the story. You can see we have our four prisoners there. Now, this is the room you start off in with a little cell and such. We fell from up there, but you can't really see much. But um, before we get too into this, I was going to show you, very quickly, this. Oh yes. Secrets. Hi Cthulhu! Just came to pick up some of my things. What are those? Lurker boots. And lurker boots are for evasion, but we don't really care about evasion for this guy, because he's in the back. So we'll give them to our monk. There are a lot of hidden things in this game. You can take the torches off the walls. and give it to our monk there. Put it in his left hand, I think. Choose your fate to perish in this cell or pick up the torch. Well, I think we've already chosen, so we should get a move on. There's another torch there. And this way there is nothing. We'll make him carry the torches, only because he won't have any need to carry anything else. Alright, so I see no secret of buttons. And so we continue. I, I have no idea why they have those hooks hanging on the walls. It's kind of an, an annoyance. Now, here's where we get our first bits of armor. Or, where we were supposed to get our first bits of armor. But I already found some. Thanks to Cthulhu. Right. And here is our first weapon for our warrior. The, the combat in this is uh, actually a lot more difficult than one would think. Because... It does look like it's very simple combat, but it's really, really not. Um, this is a simple puzzle for um, all you people out there. You put the rock on the pressure 